Every soldier looks like a soldier when he's holding a gun. It's really sort of made me realize how much of an imperfect science writing a song is because it's very much about the chemistry in the room and it's almost like a psychology um, lesson sometimes. Like the first day, you know, I was working with two guys and, and we all sort of would say where we were coming from and then we'd find a, a commonality and it was really a, a very inspiring day. It's been fantastic. It's been a great creative atmosphere. It's been um, a friendly atmosphere. Uh, beautiful setting. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy that I came. It's been a great experience. You can never put a thumb on it and say it's going to happen today in this room, but but uh, but we've we've uh, we've been real fortunate in the songs that we've written. I don't think I've ever done anything quite this remarkable and I am so glad that I didn't give in to nerves. I didn't think I would be in the most beautiful uh, uh, country home in the middle of Somerset. I didn't know there would be an insanely uh, gifted group of, uh, of musicians and writers, uh, but not just gifted, truly supportive and I didn't expect for the whole area that we're working in and the air to be filled with this inspiration, which is what's happened. I can't seem to, I don't want to, till I'm back where I belong. I love the fact that you're just thrown with people that you don't know and you're all from different walks of life, you all have different ways of working. And it's so interesting, but every time I still get a little bit nervous and then I, I kind of relax and you get to know each other. And then, yeah, it's just a lovely structure because then you know how much time you've got to try and come up with the basis of a song. And then you have lunch to kind of relax or sometimes you're still thinking about it and still in your head or you can't wait to get back to it. And then it's just, yeah, I'm just loving the structure of the day and I love the fact that we perform at the end of every evening. When you go into a space and you collaborate with really talented people, um, it's an amazing, it's like going into a vortex. And the first day, people are still kind of getting comfortable. The second day, things start heating up. And the third day, it's just this amazing synergy of talent. And I, I was saying, I feel like I'm in, a, I'm in a whirlpool of ideas. And a lot of the other songwriters are saying, you know, I got up at 3 o'clock in the morning, or, you know. Actually, I went to bed at 3 o'clock in the morning, but there's so much energy that comes when you bring a lot of people together doing the same thing, and all of the people doing this love what they do. You're warm when I'm cold, you're when I'm old, always in the wrong place. A little bit of nerves, obviously you're writing something and there's some excellent songwriters who have been on this kind of week. And I, I want to sort of impress them and not embarrass myself. But also, I just want to have fun. And we've managed to come up with some pretty good songs and also have a lot of fun in the meantime. I've really enjoyed the experience. Um, I normally tend to write on myself, so uh, it's kind of nice to learn from other people and kind of work with people who specialise in different genres, you know. And also learning different ways of starting a song and putting things together, basically, because I think being a musician is kind of like a, can be a very personal thing. Um, so it's kind of nice to learn how other people deal with the whole process of writing songs, you know. Yeah, it's been really interesting because it's obviously everything from experienced, um, you know, Grammy award winning, blah, 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 all the way down to people who are just starting out. And it's great because you just have to trust Chris that the list he puts up in the morning is uh, going to bear fruit by the end of the day and you're kind of like charged with doing that. I've got holes in my shoes But I've got something to say And I feel like the sky is smiling down on me And the whole world is singing Every day is
is a song. You're looking at the concert at the end of the day, mm. and the songs that are being performed at the concert mm. did not exist on that morning. They've been written during the day and performed that night. I know, and it's a real thrill, really. I'm, I feel totally blessed to hear those songs and to hear how people have used their imaginations, their skills, their strengths and their weaknesses to bring the songs together. This is a, a, an, mm. an opportunity for young people. Um, I think it is, and I think um, what Peter from the Foundation and myself would like to do is make it more of an educational uh, workshop too by having young students come and work with people uh, that have been around the block so people can share their skills. And there are a lot of young writers out there that would like to come to a workshop like this and I think they would benefit from it. The Buddy Holly Foundation, the Education Foundation, is, it's got very much involved in the whole fabric of, of this event. So how did you and Chris get to meet and how did this involvement begin? We suggested to Chris that we'd like to do a songwriting competition. Is that something hmm. that could help promote the foundation? And Chris said, well, why don't you um, sponsor one of my songwriting retreats? Truthfully, from the first hour I arrived at the retreat, it was so well organised, so relaxed in this beautiful countryside setting. I knew that this was going to be the journey of the foundation going forward. It's been fun the whole time, um, just the, getting experience from other people that are better than me and more experienced than me, and it's been fun. I'm not really a performer, but it's fun to perform, have other people sing along to your songs that you wrote. 